we'll go to the vertical alignment so as i said in a previous video so you just have to enter these curve details in excel format okay and you just simply paste is at a um, polyline and then extra fit after that you just have to give ip in each curve okay then you just enter the curve radius and transition length so your other general element will get fixed nothing but x y is over x y values so for vertical design so you need to get z so okay z z you have to fix with the vertical alignment concept for so is you just read for vertical alignment prepare excel sheet with the details of dpr frl and dpr ground level okay so at the initial stage you might you don't have uh, some topo data so few days just uh, few days before getting the contract of preparing a detailed design you might won't have the topo data so for that so you prepare you just simple prepare a dpr dtm so for that you have to prepare a dpr frl lines and dpr ground level okay so uh, normally in dpr when you see the profile see i will show you These are the labels. Proposed road level at median edge is nothing but FRL, and then ground. Okay, this is an LH side and RHS side. Okay, these details you can export as a Excel, and you can paste it. Okay, and you can prepare it in Excel with the respective changes. Okay, so now you have Z value at each change. Okay, so you can prepare Excel. Like this, see DPR, FRL, and OGL. Okay, see. okay. this is the Excel sheet you have to prepare in each chain edge, and then this is the ground level details from the PDF. Okay, at 15 meter interval. Okay, whatever the data you have in a tender documents, you have to prepare it in, a, in this format. Okay, at zero, ground level is this one, 161.42 on, on right side and left side. So the same, these are FRL. Okay, now we have ground and then FRL. Okay, so with these two strings, you can prepare a DTM. It's very simple, as I explained in the previous video. So now I will I will explain you again. So these are the z values okay now so you have already designed the horizontal alignment so you will get the x y values from the report okay we'll get a offset report in the dynamic report we'll get x y values and z will be minus 3.9 so this is the dpr ogl These are the MC00, nothing but your design center line uh, from the, as I said you, from the curve table. Then this is the OGL value, what you have entered here, okay, 161.432. So then you have to give a line mode command, that is nothing but 008, comma, 3 equal to CEL0 is nothing but a string name string name you are giving which is CEL0 or whatever the things you can prepare so this, this is for left uh, left or right okay then uh, then 5 equal to x value whatever the things you are getting then 6 equal to y value after that 7 equal to z so now you have a 
string 008 is for the create a string command okay you can refer in a line mode okay so you just have to copy these details okay and prepare a just a small model okay just like this okay some you just create a model okay then edit edit is the major option for the 008 008 is minor option to create a string okay with the xyz values so you just paste here and then end it with minus nine just triple nine then run it in mx okay you will you will create it will get a string you will get a string on mx with some with the name you have given so same thing you have to provide for write also okay chain is same formula then same similar procedure and now we have two lines okay that is 15 meter from the outside 15 meter from the uh, left side right side and left side so we can create dtm with the two strings it's enough so now have a dpr ground level okay after that same procedure dpr frl dpr frl frl values also you have entered here okay these values okay normally this one will be same okay so frl also it's there so now you have same similar procedure or you just give a cc 0 it will be better means uh, center line okay and uh, simply you run it in a line mode input command so now we have dpr frl also so you just after that see these are the steps i explained directly so now create a dtm based on the dpr levels that i said you with the the two strings then after that associate dpr frl line while designing the profile and follow that line with the provision of same curve lengths given in a dpr so you have the curve lengths here this length of vertical curve is 115 and 115 so if you associate in a mx if you associate in a mx you will get is similar line of frl what proposed in the dpr so similar line we will get but in a 10 meter interval not a smooth one not a smooth one so you have to provide curve length accordingly and check the gradient also okay so now what over so in this step horizontal alignment it is exactly matching with the dpr and then here you are matching exactly with the dpr vertical alignment so this is just copying so now the uh, real step will come that is a relative difference concept i will explain in the next video okay so thanks guys now the main thing is that uh, up to the vertical alignment site investigations and design basis report I, I i think you understood dpr drawings horizontal alignment is very simple vertical alignment you have to prepare excel sheet i will provide you in the link okay then you have to give a 008 command minor option with the edit major option so just run it and it will get a strings then dtm offer that dpr frl and then associate it in a profile while designing the vertical profile then you have to give the curve lens so your design is matching exactly with the dpr so there might be some differences but it won't matter but you have a basic phenomena of dpr okay now that's it guys i will explain the relative difference concept okay we'll we'll go in the next video Thank you guys.